Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Saturday, March 11th, 2023. I'm the Drunk Poker Root. Tis your time. So we kicked off Pokapalooza Quadrilogy. It's the fourth Pokapalooza. We did it in 16, 17, 18, and now in 2023. Back after a three-year hiatus. Um, what it basically is, is I took a week off work, and we're going to travel around Ontario going to different breweries. Now, we're dialing it back more to the original way we did Pokapalooza, because the first year we did like 20, 25 deliveries breweries the second year we visited like 50 and the third year we visited like 64 in a week and that's just too much driving and that's too much time spent rushing around so we're trying to cut it back a bit this year we went to to start off we went to uh uh what do you call it wellington we went to wellington region okay we went to the the the, 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 the guelph area the the very area around waterloo now there is so many breweries there so we just picked four all right we picked one new one three that we've been to before and we haven't been to in a while so we started off with a brand new one up in Elmira opened in 2020 is Rural Roots Brewing um, we had a flight we sat there and we kind of just wanted to experience what it was like in there you know to get a feel for the place it feels like a small town uh, bar uh, it has a good feel for that you know what I mean it is a small town bar really at the end of the day food music uh, lots of events happening they made it they opened in 2020 so they made it through all those pandemic shutdowns and somehow managed to keep their business going uh so we tried a bunch of stuff we bought some stuff home 77 dipper 77 77 77 paul coffee as it were double ipa 6.7 percent they they give you a little description of each beer in here about the beer and i like that especially for people who don't know a lot about beer or maybe for people who do like i appreciate it but we did enjoy it i they had a really good red ale which i do pick up some and i grab them for my good buddy Polly G. Uh, we are counting down now. We are like, I don't know, five days away from 50. What beer do you drink on your 50th birthday? Do you make it a special beer? Do you just make it an everyday beer, your favorite beer? I really don't know. I have a plan in mind, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm also solo on my birthday for most of the day because Mrs. Polk has to go back to work. She only has three vacation days left. You know, the cruise and all the stuff she got to do this year. Lucky girl. Anyways, let's get into this. Cheers, my friends, to new breweries, new beers, new experiences, and the return. Pocapalooza. Cheers. So I did have a sampler of this at the brewery because I'm like a double IPA. I've got a lager, double IPA, red ale, and their uh, porter. Porter was very good, very roasty, very uh, hints of smoke in that. The lager was okay. Um, but again, I'm not a big lager guy a lot of the times. You know, I, I just it's just not my thing right now. But I do have an affinity for them. The red ale was good. And this is a decent double IPA. Right? It does hit all the marks. It certainly leans West Coast. You do get touches of that kind of sweet malt, sweet caramel bit of toffee. Um, a very nice pine, resinous pine on the back. Some upfront peach. I want to say some grapefruit. It's pithy. It's bitter. It's nice. Um, first beer I had from them. So I work from this place. I think the Red Ale was, uh, was the top one that I had out of, out of them. Really, I really dug the Red Ale. This was the second one. Mrs. Polk liked the porter and the red ale. So if you want to know, that's the one we're going to do tomorrow or the next day, I guess, as we go through. So we went to four breweries. We did uh, these guys. We did uh, Block 3, which I haven't been to in a couple of years. We did Wellington, which is the very first brewery and the very first Polk Clues in 2016. And we finished up with a quick stop at Royal City in Guelph, who were having their grand reopening. of They expanded their tap room, and it was absolutely packed, so we didn't stay for a pint or a, a flight. But we did enjoy our time. The service was very good at Royal Roots. The staff there were engaging. They checked in. I, how you doing? You know, anything you want to know about the beer, about the place? We asked questions. Ms. Polk asked questions because I'm absorbing everything in my head. Um, it's decent beer. I like it. it. It certainly fits a niche, and I think they have a lot of other styles that I want to try, too. They got some old ales and a dunkel in that that I want to get into because those are really going to show me some more stuff about them. But if you want to get, like, an old... This is an old-school West Coast IPA, right? And I dig them, so I have very, very high standards when it comes to this style of beer because it is my most favorite style of beer. So it's okay, right? Decent, hits all the marks, hits all the marks, just didn't blow me away. And that's okay, too. Not every beer is going to blow you away. Sometimes you're like, okay, it's good beer for the style. Like, it, it, it's okay. And that's all right. I dig it. But like I said, the Red Ale really had me intrigued. They're all right, though. As it warms up, it does become a little more smooth. Which I kind of dig, so yeah, it's it's a complex it's a complex thing, right? Like I'm trying to look for the positives and everything, and I'm not seeing any negatives. I'm just not seeing any wow, right? The bitterness is nice. It hits the marks. It's decent for the style. You go there, check it out. It's fun to go. You know what's fun to go to is these people have such pride in what they've done, 
and you know, and you're still interacting with a you know a small town, and small towns with these breweries really are keeping the industry going forward with them. You know, we're gonna see a lot of change this year, and I hope places like this stick around because it's nice to be able to come going down my, you know, a small town. You know, whatever we're doing, we're staying over, and they got events going on, and they got a place to go to get some good beer, and that's important in these days, this day and age. So, Polk loves you. We'll see you out on the road tomorrow. Not sure where we're going, but well, I kind of have an idea. But uh, we'll see you then. Might see you later tonight too. Cheers. Good old number seventy-seven, Paul Coffee. Remember that, eh? Remember the cough man? Oh, didn't Aspo wear 77 when he went to the Rangers, too? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. <laughs>